So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to answer the question, do I receive dividends when selling call options? So there's two parts to this that I think we really have to dissect and in order to understand if we are able to receive dividends when selling call options. The first thing is just to understand that when we are selling a call option, we have the obligation to sell stock at that strike price in the future to the call option buyer. So we have to sell stock to them at that strike price, which means that if they were to exercise that contract as the short option contract seller, we would be in a position where we are actually short shares of the underlying security versus long shares of the underlying security. And so therefore, if we are short underlying stock, we would, of course, not get paid the dividend. In fact, we might actually have to pay out the dividend to a potential call option buyer if they were to exercise that contract. This is where we often see people get really confused when we talk about short call dividend assignment risk. This risk that is present when a short call option goes in the money and the corresponding put option is worth less than the dividend being paid. When this happens, you are at risk of having your short call option assigned. The call option buyer would then buy stock from you at the strike price and then collect the dividend. So the only way to collect a dividend then would be to be an owner of stock. And so you can be an owner of stock if you have a short put and you assign the short put and then you go through a dividend scenario where you collect the dividend. Or if you're a call option buyer and then you exercise your call option and again, take delivery of the stock And then as a stock owner, you can receive the dividend. So again, there's two parts here. One is being a short call option seller. And then two is if you're a short call option seller, do you get any chance at the dividend? And the answer is no, because you'd be short stock. You'd actually have to pay out the dividend if you went through that scenario. So hopefully this helps out. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.